Well, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about bartering. Well, I remember back in the year 2000 was the first big barter deal I ever did. I saw a motorcycle on the side of the road. It was a Honda Rebel 450. And to me, it looked amazing. It might as well have been the biggest Harley Davidson in the world. I didn't really know much. But the gentleman I talked to, I ended up trading my car for. I had a, a Nissan 240SX for this bike. Well, it was a great deal for them. But for me, I just thought it was the greatest thing ever because I got from a car that needed a brake job and had some issues and I traded it for a running motorcycle. Now, in Florida at the time, you didn't have to have insurance as long as you wore a helmet. And it cost me about $3 to fill that thing up. So uh, it was a pretty exciting day for the 19-year-old uh, version of myself. And ever since then, I've loved bartering. Today's vlog is about bartering. Well, the barter I want to talk about today is several months back, I challenged myself to start with nothing. Now, we all have something, we all have a skill set, whatever your skill set may be. Mine, I have a little bit of carpentry and a little bit of mechanical know how. So, I wanted to start with nothing or at least something for free. So, I drove around some job sites in my neighborhood and around and, and looked for free scrap wood. Well, this story, I picked up scrap wood on a Saturday morning. I brought it home and began building a table, sort of a basic farmhouse table. I had some stain, I had some sealer, I had some things, and all the tools I needed, the Craig jig and the screws, to build a table. Well, I built the table, and then I began to get on Facebook Marketplace and offer people with motorcycles trades. Would you be interested in trading my table for your motorcycle? And listen, you gotta have persistence in this. You gotta have a ton of persistence. I sent so many messages, turned down so many times till eventually somebody had an old Suzuki motorcycle that they were willing to trade the table for straight up for their motorcycle. That was a project. Of course, they said it had ran at some point recently and there was no chance it did. That sucker was an hour away, ended up showing up there at night, super sketchy as these things go. Well, I got the bike fixed it up, traded the table, and over the next couple days, fixed this bike up, do what I normally do to these type of bikes, take them to the tank to bare metal, change some van rubber grips, and maybe change the headlight, a new seat, and, and kind of do some simple stuff like pipe wrap. Took some good pictures. Once again, jumped on Facebook Marketplace, looking for someone with maybe a classic truck or a classic car that would be interested in trading for this bike that I had built and got running. Well, once again, after being turned down by a bunch of deals, persistency is the key. I had a guy who was gonna be deploying and he said, man, my wife wants this old truck out of the driveway and your motorcycle interests me. I was able to make a deal where I traded the bike for this truck. As you know, a while back I picked up this 1982 Suzuki GS850. And today, I think I got a deal. I'm headed towards a 1967 Chevy C10 in line V6, step side long bed. Kind of a quirky truck, but the guy is willing to trade. So we rented a trailer from U-Haul, um, and we got the bike loaded up, fingers crossed. What I got was a 1967 Chevy C10, long bed, step side. Well, I'm a sucker for C10s. This is, as a matter of fact, the third one I've had. First few I had, I had, I had a 69 C10, which was blue, original paint, it was gorgeous. Should have never got rid of it. Another one was a 71 C10 that I traded a Harley Davidson lowrider I had built in 1500 bucks for. That was a beautiful truck. Well, this one here was an inline six, um, uh, three on the floor had been transferred from the three on the tree to three on the floor. Needed some brake work. Well, I got the truck pulled the interior immediately, sent it off to my upholstery guy, sent the truck to the shop and had the brakes done. Spent about $700 in brake work, which was probably the most expensive part of it. And did a new interior, did some new headlights, did a little shop logo on the side, did some uh, a little wood bed in the back from some one by sixes that I built and I connected and Craig jigged and then I sanded and then I stained and sealed and made it look good. Another cool thing when you were getting a vehicle is sometimes people leave tools and little quirky things inside. I've uh, got a little uh, dongle for an iPhone and they have a couple little CDs here. A little uh, uh, Aerosmith and then kind of upon closer investigation, we got the Aerosmith and you got some Eminem curtain call. Most importantly, the 
any old classic pickup. Giant cash. <laughs> Classic truck needs classic music. All this to be said is that a lot of people want a motorcycle or a classic truck or a camper or a boat and you can literally start with nothing and barter your way up to whatever you want. I've bartered, I got one motorcycle I had bought a while back and I got a guy to throw in a freebie one in the back and ended up fixing it up and trading it up all the way up to my 1986 Rolex Big Just. I've bartered so many times I know it's possible. Hopefully you can come from a little story like this and go barter up to whatever it is you have in mind. Maybe it's a Corvette. Maybe you want to keep bartering up to like a house or a houseboat. I have no idea. Or an airplane. People have done crazier things. This is my story. And I hope you're inspired by the story to go out and make your own barter story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit a like button. Hit subscribe for more builds and more barter stories like this one.